the bi-stable 555 timer mode. Here is the internal layout of a 555 timer. The difference of the mono and estable appears at the first side. There are no components on the right side of the ship. Instead, it is applied a constant negative voltage to pin 6. Can you see the consequences? Well, pin 6 in low calls comparator B to be disabled. There is no way to force the flip-flop to the up position except through a negative pulse in the reset. Well, this is the essence of how the 555 works in its bistable mode. Let's trigger it and see what happens. We start from the up position. R9 is a pull up resistor. This keeps the comparator a inert. The output will stay negative indefinitely, as it usually does, until you trigger the timer by dropping the voltage to P2. As soon as the voltage pulse is generated, it runs the ship internally, which sends a pulse to the flip-flop, forcing it to the down position, and flips the timer back to generating its positive output. Note that a brief negative pulse is enough. The setup is stable, remember? How to reverse the situation if comparator B is disabled? The answer is a negative pulse to pin 4 turns the output negative. Let us see. Realize that internally the resistor are charging normally, but we are in a peculiar state. The pulse of pins 5 and 7 are innocuous. Let's run the reset button. A negative pulse travel through towards the ship, rips the front door, and then reset the timer. It overrides everything and flips the output to negative, starting all the cycle again. That is a bi-stable 555 timer mode. Bringing your attention to pin 2 and 4, you are watching Jungle Tronics channel. This is your host, J3. Thank you 